Po' Boy Special here. What in the world are we looking at? What is this? Well, you see the zombie spokesperson right there, and there's a red dot right between his eyes. Hmm, you know what that means. That's right. We're taking a look at this red dot optics. Mr. Zombie, we've got you in our sights. All right. Po' Boy Special is going to take a look at this optic that we got here by True Glow. That's right, True Glow. Now, this is a 40, that's right, I said 40 millimeter lens. That is absolutely huge. It is big. Anybody, even the blind person, can see through this thing. <laughs> Which is necessary. <laughs> that's right. So, you see that it does come with these nice flip up covers one for each end very nice it does take the nice round size batteries kind of like the watch batteries it goes in right here windage elevation adjustments it's kind of cool there's other cool things that we got for this and because of this and we're going to go into that right now before we actually show you how and where it goes on this weapon well, one quick thing if you watch the video previous to this we had a Bushnell uh, uh, TRS 25 uh, which was a micro dot uh, uh, red dot system. Um, when when my wife Miss Miss L <laughs> looked through it, she said she could not even see the thing. She couldn't see through it, and she requested that I find something bigger. Um, and it was and it was mounted straight on top here. No, it was it was no, it was on yeah, mounted on the it side. Was on the side. All right. And uh, she, she just couldn't get it lined up with her eyes well enough. And, and uh, she asked me to get something bigger so that she could use this as well. And just uh, like Texas, bigger is better. Absolutely. And, and uh, God bless her. Any woman that wants to shoot my, uh, any wife of mine that wants to shoot my AK pistol is going to have the option to do so. So I had to, I had to uh, make it available to her too. Now we, we did try mounting it straight to the top. One disadvantage of doing so is that when you have an optic here, unless it's one of those kind that is radioactive and glows all the time, forever and ever, um, it, most of them are battery operated like this one is. If the battery goes out, then you cannot see your iron sights. Yeah, and, and uh, uh, got to make a shout out to Destroyer. If you haven't seen his, uh, his channel, it's very, very good. Uh, he, he has a lot of thought behind how he does things. We tried mounting the optic up there with, with both the riser mount and this uh, double rail uh, mount with the, uh, with the 45 degree angle on it. And the base right here was actually more, it was actually higher than we could actually, um, um, and it actually blocked the iron sights, right? So if we turn the gun like this, you can see that as, as uh, we were looking up, up the iron sights, you can barely see the iron sights uh, from this. It's one of the reasons why putting the high visibility front post up there was such a good idea. So this, any, any way that I was mounting these red dots was actually blocking the view of my iron sights. Now I've, I've mentioned before in another video that I hate batteries and I would prefer not to depend on them as my only only source of a, of a sight. And so, you know, what, what are we to do? All right. Like we said, one of the interesting things that you'll see here is the angle right here. Very cool, very innovative. That angle is very important for this size 40 millimeter lens because if you do not have that angle, it will not fit up against here. It, it just will not because it's too large. So that becomes a necessary thing for this size lens. And that riser mount was made by UTG and it cost me about $12 with free shipping from Amazon. So that was uh, very, very inexpensive. Now you'll notice there's a little tab here at the bottom that I'm pulling. That tab, ooh, wonderful thing called quick release so any trouble anything you just pull that tab quick release it's off and you're gone all right so I'm going to show show you how to put this on here okay now of course we added the quad rail system 
uh, in, in an earlier video. And this gives us a lot of flexibility on this. So all you have to do is rotate it, put it on there, get it where you want it, and close the quick release, and it's on there. Now, I want to show you guys something. Now, it is. I, a, that was cool. It was a quick on and quick off. Very, very quick. So it's a quick release and a quick on. We're going to show you one important aspect here. We understand that this is made by UTG, and even though UTG fits under the category of a po' boy special budget, uh, which is wonderful. Uh, sometimes uh, the most expensive isn't always the best. Sometimes you can get a, just as good a quality on a, on a lower budget and still do absolutely well. Now, I understand UTG makes a lot of stuff for airsoft guns and, and whatnot, but we tried it on this and we want to show you something and, and watch this. You saw it here. All right, we grabbed that optic, as you see, and shook the holy crap out of it, and it still works, it's still on there, still functioning. That's kudos in my book. Absolutely. All right, now we want to do one thing with this. We want to share one small negative, and it is a negative that you, we, we might have to remedy, and we might have to show you how we remedied that later on. We showed you that this does have quick flip up covers, but sometimes when you try and flip them up, the whole dang thing comes off. Not cool. Yeah, that's only really a negative when you're wallowing around in the mud and the covers are really helping. You know, the covers can uh, keep a lot of junk out of there, right? If you go to flip the, the, the cover off and uh, the, the entire thing comes up, you might lose it. Uh, you know, if you got a zombie horde chasing after you, you're not going to stop to turn around. <laughs> now that's some good background music for us. Just thought I'd throw that in for you to see oh, if you're paying we're not attention. Edit that one out. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> we just wanted to see if you're paying attention. Oh boy. And that was from the. But we're not going to stop to, to to pick one of these things up. If you got a zombie horde coming after you, this thing's just gone forever. And, and and these are really handy to have on there, just to keep gunk out of your out of your lens. So that's the only real negative that we found is these come off when you try and they're they're, they're so tight. Maybe because it's uh, so new that we haven't played with it enough to to loosen it up. But when you try and take these off, sometimes the whole thing comes off. So you have to really get a you hear it snap, and it's really in there tight. So it's it's got a good protection base on it, mm -hmm. but. That comes off way too easy. But it is what it is, and like I said, it's got a huge 40 millimeter lens. Wonderful field of view, wonderful sight. Like I said, even a blind zombie can see this. So, True Glow Optics, red dot. You saw the, we shook it. You can see it, battery operated, and you saw it here on the Po' Boy Special Channel.